Okay, you're going to make this all by yourself. So you've cooked off a little bit of onion in there, and I have used this... I'm little... going to make this all by myself. I've got the risotto <laughs> olive oil, because we're doing... This is another heart foundation recipe that we're doing, and um, as a result, we're not using any, any salt in it, because if you use salt, if you've got high blood pressure or heart disease, it's one of the things that you need to take out. So we've just cooked off a little bit of onion here, and I did that ahead of time, because, you know, that's going to take eight or ten minutes just to soften the onion out. Now you're going to add some tomato paste. Brilliant. And that's about three or four tablespoons of tomato paste. And that is another one of those really useful ingredients because it adds a depth of flavour. And I always cook it like this. I fry it out. What that does is if you taste raw tomato paste, it can taste a little bit bitter, kind of hard on the palate. When you cook it like this, it caramelises the flavour. What kind of heat? Mid heat? Mid heat. And then I've got these nice spices. So I've got all spice. Cinnamon mm. and nutmeg. The aroma. So aromatic. Oh, yes. And I would always toast spices like this because what that does is it releases their essential oil. Mm. And that again, doesn't that smell nice? It does. Do we need to put a bit of oil and juice in here? No, we're going to put our here beans here in. Here it comes. Ah. Drain and rinse those beans. And then a, um, you want to use a reduced salt tomato pasta sauce. Now, if you didn't have tomato pasta sauce, you could use canned tomatoes. It won't taste as dense, and if I was using canned tomatoes, I'd cook it, I'd use two big cans, and I'd cook it down longer so that it actually gets more of a deep tomato mm. flavour. Can you see how that's starting to come together? Absolutely. So then what we've got is, we've got some eggplant. Lots of people don't like eggplant because it's often not cooked enough, and so instead of melting in your mouth, which is what it should do when it's properly cooked, it's sort of spongy and, and unappealing. Okay. When it's properly cooked, just melts. It's this lovely. Like a melting moment. No, 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 not like a melting moment. No, but, okay. But it is actually a really fantastic vegetable. So when you are buying an eggplant, can you see how this is really turgid? It's really, it's not wilted. It's very, very shiny. It's heavy. And that's what you want in an eggplant. And I would keep an eggplant in the fridge usually rather than in the fruit bowl because it will stay fresh for much longer. Okay. So you can do this. This is your entire dish. Okay. Overlap. So that, that's one of those. That's probably about a six, seven hundred gram eggplant in there. And just layer them up. Absolutely. I'm going to put that over there. Now? That's as fast as that. I'll turn the gas off for you. And then just spread it around. That's yeah. all there is to it. And then we're going to put some potato on top. Now, you don't have to use potato. You could use another layer of eggplant, but I quite use, like using the potato. It's a different texture, and it's kind of more substantial. You'll be amazed when that's cooked. This how is the... such a simple heart isn't foundation it? recipe, isn't it? Isn't that good? So then it's just brilliant. make these look nice on top. I'll give you some. Have a stash Because of it is like my side recipe, side. isn't it? It's your recipe. No, it's yes, not so my just recipe. It's my, over. it's my cooking lesson. Okay, so this is the next bit of this layering. Cottage cheese. So choose a either a low-fat or a pick the tick cottage cheese. And then the thing that's going to make it taste nice, because often cottage cheese can taste deadly dull, is... Am I using this? Yeah. <laughs> you can use anything. You know, I think that the most important thing that you need to remember when you're cooking is people love it when you cook for them. It doesn't matter how simple the food is. Always remember that. They could be eating takeout. So what did you put in there, Annabelle? So I've just put some um, basil pesto, mm -hmm. and you could use... How much? Um, I put about two tablespoons of basil pesto for uh, two... 400 or 500 grams, for 500 grams of cottage cheese. Okay. But I think that's the thing, that when you're cooking your own home-cooked food, there's a certain flexibility to it. You know, you don't... It's not like um, when you're in a restaurant and everything has to be perfectly the same every time. And that's what I really like about home cooking. E each cook develops their own take on a recipe. And, you know, once you've made this two or three times, you'll go, oh, actually, this time I think I'm going to da-da-da-da-da. So you, right. you make it your own. And that's what I think that food has to be. And you make it your own, and then you enjoy the process, and you put it on the table, and everybody goes... Enjoys it too. Yay. Mm. So then the topping that I'm going to put on there, because traditionally when you make moussaka, you would make a white sauce. Mm -hmm. And because I was wanting this to be a bit speedy and simple, I, I, I invented this. Well, I don't know if I invented it, but it's a cheat. So I have a cup of milk, like a custard, and a couple of eggs. 
Have you tried it before or are you yes, just making me try it? No, I've right. tried it before and I made it on the weekend actually and it was one of those things that everybody said, mm, mm. this is nice and you know, you could make a white sauce and it would work perfectly well and some yoghurt. So a cup of milk, a cup of yoghurt, two eggs and some parmesan cheese. Whisk, 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 whisk. You should be doing this. Taken over again. Well, uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> so this is parmesan cheese going over the top. And parmesan is one of those great things that has a lot of flavour and you don't need very much, so a little goes a long way. No. Okay, we'll do swaps. I'll take one out, you put one in. Okay. Smells delicious. Look at that. Just like Mama used to make. Right, can I try this? Yes, go for it. I've got a fork. 